Well, there you go. A minor milestone for a small YouTuber like us. We just passed one million views. Check up there to verify. Which, you know, I did the math. I looked at my Google Analytics. I looked at the number of minutes watched. And we did figure out one other thing. We have wasted an entire human lifetime with this stuff. Yes, somebody born today, living their entire average lifetime of a U.S. citizen and dying. You calculate all those minutes up, and that's about how many minutes people have been watching this ugly mug. We basically murdered one person with the web. But that's got to be something to celebrate. So for that little thing, I thought I'd give you all a quick little tip. Uh, a lot of woodworking tools out there are adjusted with screws. Kind of like this one right here. I love this little spoke shave made by Veritas. It's a convertible. It's really the first spoke shave I, I ever bought. And I still use it to this day. And it's one of those tools that a lot of my students just really take to really, really well. Uh, but I did have a gentleman come in he, to the school uh, this past week, w which had one of these. And he was frustrated with it because he couldn't ever adjust it. And uh, I say, uh, the reason being is because you have these two screws. You basically loosen them up with a screwdriver, you fiddle it right there, and then you retighten them up. And if that's the way you're doing it, you're making life hard for yourself. There's an easier way to adjust this tool and all other tools that use some kind of a screw to just tighten down the, the fence or anything like that. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, the way I like to set up most of my spoke shaves is I like to have it take a fine shaving on one side and something a little thick on the other so I'm not having to constantly adjust it for different shaving. I just work a separate area. I also keep one spoke shave that's set to take the finest of shavings and I just leave it on my tool rack up there. So that's the last spoke shave that I'll touch something. Uh, but the, how I'm going to adjust this is very common to pretty much woodworking tools that don't have a threaded rod to adjust things in and out. It's just a screw to tighten on the blade and then you adjust it with taps. So here we go. I'm going to loosen this up. I'm going to show you how I adjust them. And this is what frustrates people because you have to kind of eyeball it. I'm adjusting it with my fingers. So I adjust it with my fingers to get it somewhat close to what I like. If it's not perfect, I don't worry about it. And then I will tighten it up ever so slightly. I'm not doing a full tightness here. I'm just making it a little snug. You can see with my fingers how much pressure I'm actually putting on here. Just a little bit of pressure to hold it. Now, right now, I have this way, way heavy all the way across. And if you see me use a blade, it takes pretty thick shavings. A lot thicker than I want. So the easiest way to adjust it is I will hold it. If I want to lower this end, I'm going to hold it on that end. And I'm going to use momentum to adjust it. Uh, if I rotate this and tap this end, this side will carry momentum a lot more than that side. So this side probably won't really move. And I'll just tap it and it lowers it down a little bit. Lowers that side down a little bit more. Lowers that side down a little bit more. A little bit more, I can visually look at it. I wanna lower this side down a little bit, so I will tap this side. There you go. And I'm getting it now so that I'm taking a fairly thin shaving on this side and a thicker one on that side, at which time I will Tighten it up a little bit more so it locks it into place. I'm not tightening it up too much. And there we go. I now have my spoke shave. It takes a thin, thick shaving on one side and a thinner shaving on the other. If I want to adjust it a little bit more, I can just loosen one side just a tad bit. What I'll do is I'll loosen it. I'll loosen it totally up and then I'll retighten it. So it's just barely touching. And once again, tap, tap. And it takes a much finer shaving now on that side. So use adjustments, use physics to move these parts in and out. Uh, the same works if you're working with a hand plane blade. Let Just tap taps. There you go. So there you go. We have the ability to take thin shavings on one side, thick shavings on the other without spending a lot of time for a setup. Just a quick little tip as a thank you for the one million views. And always remember, it is always worth the effort to learn, create, and share with others. Y'all be safe and have fun.